All right, um, Sana, first things first. Uh, this was probably the first competitive match you played in ages. <laughs> what did it feel like to come out of retirement and lead this team, with, which consists of diverse players from diverse nationalities and worldviews? What was it like? Yeah, the body is a bit sore, <laughs> of course. But yeah, I mean, uh, it has been an incredible experience. Um, I think the group of players that we have got, they are incredible with talent and as well as the persona personalities. Uh, the team is very well gelled together and I'm really enjoying. Uh, and because of this concept that we get to play in such a diverse group of players, that's why I couldn't resist the temptation to be part of the dressing room uh, rather than the comp box. Interestingly, this was probably there are only two matches in the into the competition, but we have several associate team players shine on this big stage. What did you make of their performance, uh, both from your own team as well as the opposition? Yeah, I think that's uh, that's what this tournament is all about, and that's the campaign we want to uh, we we, have, we believe in. That the players, when they are given opportunities, talent is everywhere. Talent uh, doesn't have boundaries. So when you give them a platform, they shine. So we saw Steyer Callis, he played such a brilliant knock against us. Then we saw Gatika from USA, from our, our team. The bowling she did, uh, one of, of most of the international players were finding it difficult uh, to play her. So this is all about opportunity, and, and that's why we really believe in this course. Question to uh, this was probably your first experience playing with such a group of players, many of whom you may have seen on television or play, even played against, but to be out there on the field at the Dubai International Stadium, what was it like? Well, to be fair, I was quite nervous because it's, well, it's an unbelievable, unbelievable opportunity for me from an associate country where I don't get paid for cricket and I, I love cricket a lot and it's great to be out here and and experience with San Amir, of course, and all the experienced players. It's yeah, I learn a lot just watching them play. I pass the floor on to uh, Paul. Paul, Paul will be there from the national. Obviously, you're from a famous cricket family back in the Netherlands. Um, Baz played here in the World Cup uh, recently. Did you look at look at that play from Hey, go get that chance, or did, even at that point, did it seem like something like this would be, you know? Yeah, uh, actually I was here to watch a few years ago, I watched England-Pakistan and I never thought I would be playing here. And also my family, they are here to support now, they say oh, it's crazy to watch you play instead of the big, the big players. You are on your way to be a big player. <laughs> Sam, I'm either an icon for cricketers across the globe. How is a tournament like this important? for young women cricketers and capped players possible? I think it just, um, I've been talking about the, not only the uh, players from associate nations, but the senior players. It gives them um, an opportunity to know how grateful they are, how, how basically fortunate they are coming from bigger countries. So I think it will build a community of cricketers, uh, which is uh, required in order for the global game to be competitive and not only two or three teams dominating, it's going to be very important that we build as a community of cricketers. And I think through this such tournaments, we can grow that community. We can have a voice as women cricketers, not only for ourselves, but for the uh, players around the world from different countries. Thank you. Tell us a bit about Sanamir, the captain, the teammate that you played alongside for the first time. Also, the time you've shared at the team hotel, uh, you know, at breakfast. What it is like to play alongside and interact with somebody like Sanamir, who has blazed many a trail over the past, you know, two de decades of sorts. Well, I'm very honored, of course. But she is so nice, and she is very open, and she sh um, shares her experience, and she involves everyone in the team. So I think she's a great captain, and, and it's a pleasure to play with. In, term, in terms of takeaways from this game, it did not go uh, the way Safaias probably would have planned. Uh, what would you want to pick as the biggest takeaways from this match heading into your next game? Um, for me or as a team? Uh, I'm sorry. For me personally. Uh, for you personally, given you know you were playing with such a such an interesting group of uh, players for the first time. Yeah, for me, I had quite a tough day with the gloves, so um, it was the first time facing these bowlers, obviously for me. So. I need to, to work on that. 
uh, but I feel like my batting was went well, and I'm happy about that. We have a question coming in on Zoom. Yeah, we have a question for Sana. Sana, people in Pakistan are asking whether they will see you back in the Pakistan team after this match. This this question can only come from Pakistan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I'm just enjoying my cricket right now. I, uh, I think uh, just this is an experience I wanted to be back on the ground once. Um, so I'm just enjoying it. So now we saw during the warm up ahead of this game that you have you were having a quite an animated chat with Grace Harris, Ellis Villani about your bats. We got the footage. <laughs> you want to reveal what was going on behind the scenes there? Elise was asked, uh, saying that she, she didn't approve of my bat and she wanted me to borrow hers. So I'm going to ask her after today, I've made some runs, I'm going to ask her if, if she wants to change it. <laughs> but yeah, it was just about different bats, um, how the mix are different from Pakistan and Australia. So we're just comparing uh, our notes with the bats. And did Grace Harris offer you any tips in terms of how to hit the ball on the bat? Yeah, I, I definitely need some tips to hit sixes uh, from both of them. Uh, this is the first time I've got um, such um, powerful batters in the team and Grace was not feeling well, so we couldn't play her today. She wasn't 100%, but hopefully when she's back in the team, uh, it's going to be a very strong unit. Final couple of questions. We've already seen the first game literally go down to the wire and there were several records that were broken. We've had 450s, 50 plus scores, one uh, century. Did you watch the game and do you have your hearts in your mouths or how did it go about? Yeah, we did watch the game. Uh, we could, uh, actually we predicted if Susie Bates and uh, Atta Patu stay, they, they will finish the match and that, that's what happened because we know the class of those two players. Um, and that's what T20 game, game is all about. If one batter stays, um, even they can make a huge impact. So it was good for the game of cricket. Uh, and I think uh, I was particularly impressed by Susie Bates' captaincy once again. She's a great leader and it's so good to see her back uh, leading the teams. Um, the way she, she had two main players out and still they got go on and won the game. So um, as a leader uh, who understands leadership, I think Susie Bates is uh, amongst the top. Final one there. How does Sophia's go back to the drawing board and make sure that they come back with a bang in the next game? We will, inshallah. We will going to, we are going to come back with a bang. Uh, I think there were more positives in today's game than the negatives. We fielded extremely well. The bowling unit uh, can still improve a little bit, but overall it was a good bowling performance. Bibeth <laughs> batted really well. She will just have to watch out not taking a single of Diana. Uh, so these are the small things that we will learn along the way when we, uh, for all of us. And the short selection is the only thing I think uh, we need to improve. Otherwise, um, hopefully we'll definitely come uh, back with a big bang. Thank you very much, Sana and Bobet. Wish you the very best for the next game.